Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful turquoise eye look. It was very easy. I did use a few products and I'll try to list some things below and I will talk through a lot of what I'm using. So right now I'm using the Cover FX Mattifying Primer and it has like an acne treatment in it. So whenever I use it, I just try to work it into my skin really well. And I like this a lot. I think it really does work on acne. So now I'm going to be using the NYX Concealer to uh, just prime my eyelids. And I really think I like this the best for priming my eyes. It just makes the eyeshadows go on nice and smooth. So I'm just blending it in a little bit, just making sure it's smoothed out. So now I'm going to use my Morphe Brush 350 palette. I'm going to use that brown color, mid-tone brown, just in my crease. I'm going to blend it out. Next I'm going to be using my Juvia's palette. This is the Masquerade palette. And I'm going to be using a turquoise color right here um, to just put on the lid. That's my base color. That's the color I'm going to um, highlight my look with today. And this, the eyeshadow is going very smooth. They're not too powdery. And um, yeah, this one has a nice sheen to it also, which I really, really love. Next I'm going to use this mid-tone blue. I'm going to put that in the outer V of my eye and into my crease area also. And I'm just going to blend that in. So now I, from my Morphe palette I used a very light eyeshadow so that I could uh, you know just put some highlight there and then blend it down into my crease area. I'm just using another small blending brush just to smooth out everything and to make it look nice and even. So right here I'm using a eyeliner. I believe this is by L'Oreal, uh, the felt tip liner. I don't really know if I like this uh, liner. It's kind of hard for me to work with. I think I'm going to go back to using my liquid liners, the one from the beauty supply store. But anyway, I'm using this and I'm um, just going to line both my eyes. So next I'm just using um, a black pencil to line my waterline and I think this is from the beauty supply store, just a basic beauty supply store pencil. And here I'm just blending out some of the uh, black pencil that I put in just to soften the look. And that's a um, sponge tip from MAC I think I'm using to do that. Next I'm going to be using my Lena lashes, these lashes are really long. Today is, um, I'm going out this evening so I'm using a more dramatic eyelash and I did cut them down a little bit because I think even though they were long the look was a little too much with the eyeshadow so I just cut them down a little bit and I'm just getting them on and into place. So now I'm using a foundation stick by Dermablend. The color is called brown. And it's basically a touch up stick, but I, today I'm using it for my foundation. I really love this and I like to use it in the winter time because it's very moisturizing and it just goes on so beautiful and smooth as you can see. And that's my, my artist brush that I'm using to just smooth it down. And hopefully in the future guys, I will be doing a dupe brush for you guys so that you can so that I can bring some information to you about uh, comparisons and how well they work okay so now I'm using my NARS creamy concealer and this color is called almond I'm just gonna put it on and then I'm just gonna blend it out and this is basically just my highlight I'm using that same artist brush and I'm just blending it out So now I'm using my Sasha Cosmetics. This is the yellow powder. And I'm just basically putting the powder every place that I put the concealer. And I love the pressed powder, the Sasha pressed powder. It's 
it just goes on super smooth and you just put it into place and basically I just put it into place and blend it while I'm uh, you know placing it I don't bake guys I just use it as a setting powder so now right now I'm just brushing it away so now I'm going to use the Derma Blend setting powder the color I'm using is called saffron and this is my setting powder and I absolutely love it I've been using this for years I found nothing that compares to it so right now I'm going to do some contouring and I'm going to use the Makeup Geek um, contour powder. The color I'm using is called Complicated. I love it. It looks very natural. It's soft. I can get a very nice natural uh, contour without looking harsh. And so I'm just putting it every place I want to contour and now I'm going in and I'm blending it out. So next I'm using the um, Highlighter and bronzer from the Star Trek collection. This is the MAC product. I reviewed this for you And I'm just using the color and the highlight together First I'm putting in the color and I go back in and apply the highlight. It's absolutely beautiful It's really not in your face kind of highlight. I absolutely love it. This is probably my favorite um, highlight and blush set or blush combination I'm just cleaning off uh, my lips, any foundation that's there. I'm going to get ready to put my lipstick on. This lip pencil is by Kiss. It's the 24 hour luxury lip pencil. The color I'm using is Roasted Coffee. And I'm basically just kind of halfway filling in my lips with them. So next I am using Nude Lipstick. It's by Iman. I believe it's called Iman Nude. But it's a nude lipstick by her. It's the only one that she makes. It looks so beautiful and creamy and it just matches my skin tone really nicely. And it's really a nice nude color. So here I'm just going back in and finishing up my look. Just putting a little mascara on. And guys, basically I am done. And uh, yeah. So I want to thank you so, so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. If you have any comments, just please leave them below. I'd be very happy to read them and get back to you. Guys, please don't forget to thumbs up my video. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Take care, be well, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.